the same the summary of every every fire conference we have okay it's now that we've incorporated technology in our teachings it's very important to be able to reflect and reflect so that you get all you also get feedback and so that it can be accounted to you that you have met certain requirements hallelujah amen praise the living jesus amen. so today i'm going to continue from where i stopped last week i mentioned that there are benefits that god gives to those who go extra miles hallelujah amen. those who go extra miles i'm talking about those who are the first to be in church i'm talking about those who come to church on time to set the church, to set the chairs in the church, to set the media uh, department of the church, to put this in order. I'm talking about those who wake up ahead of others. I'm talking about those who will wake up, they know that there's going to be church service and they wake up on time. They study their Bible because they want to be effective. Praise God. They, they put this in order. They wake everybody up. They become like uh, a role model wherever they are. Oh, it's time for church. They, they influence other people around them positively. Do you get it? Yes. And that's where God is taking us. That's where God is taking us. You know, He's taking us to a point where everywhere we go, the circle of our in, in, you know, yeah, influences people around us, people who gravitate towards us, including family members who live with us, we're able to influence them in a positive way. In a positive way. That because of us, lies are reduced and gone totally. Amen. Because of us, when others are telling lies, when they come to us, they know that, no, 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 lies not going to pass. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to suggest that this person lies because it won't pass. Hallelujah. That's where God is taking us. 2021 and beyond. So we want to look at some of the benefits of doing these things. Some of the benefits of being a role model. A role model. Since we started this fire conference, we've been on time. Before 10, latest by 10 o'clock, we've been on time. Role model. You have got to be disciplined. You cannot take discipline out of discipleship you got to be disciplined you can be punctual at your everyday job everyday business and then when it's time for the things of god you are late or when it's time for the things of god that's when you sleep off that's when you oversleep meanwhile at your place of work you don't sleep off you don't oversleep you are always there on time as a matter of fact you are fighting to be the employee of the month. You are, you are fighting to be recognized as someone who has a perfect attendance. But you are not doing the same and even more in the household of faith. I have prayed that God will change your misunderstanding Amen. of the values of the kingdom. Amen. God first. Can we say God first? God first. It's got to be God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. The kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added unto you. Every other thing shall be added unto you. You cannot prioritize other engagement over the things of God. Especially if God is calling you to a place like this where God wants you to be a role model. Hallelujah. You want to be a role model. Hallelujah. You know, just very quickly, I'm going to want us to look at um, uh, what's this space? St. Matthew chapter 28. I just want this to, to sink into your system how important your role is in this work. I want you to see how important your role is in this work. If Jesus came to this world and Jesus had to do everything by himself, there won't be Apostle Peter. There won't be Apostle Paul. Praise God. There won't be, uh, you know, 
the Apostle John, there will be Apostle uh, uh, Bartholomew, you know, and the rest of them. James, Thomas, hallelujah. It's very important for you to know that for us to reach nations, for us to reach kingdoms, we got to expand. We got to duplicate ourselves. We got to raise more leaders in us. Amen. We got to empower other people as Jesus empowered us. We got to empower other people. And that's why you've been called to be a part of this. You have been called to be able to uh, help with the expansion, with, you know, with, with, the, with the spreading of the gospel from one nation to another nation, from one kingdom to another kingdom. And that's why discipline has to start with you. That is why discipleship has to start with you. That is why accountability has to start with you. Look at this. Sabbath to 28. Let's take a look at it from verse 16. It's important for you to understand the Great Commission. The Great Commission requires all hands on deck. All hands on deck. And those hands that are on deck must be orderly. We must do things orderly. And that's why it's very important. As a role model, you can't be deceiving God's people. You can't be living a sinful life and be saying you want to lead other people. Otherwise, you will crush yourself. You will mess up yourself. The devil will destroy you. I reject that over you in Jesus' name. Amen. You cannot be fed. If you don't see yourself as a leader, then opt out. Opt out. Don't deceive yourself. There's a difference between someone who needs help, who recognizes they need help, and they ask him for help. Help me, Lord. Apostle, help me so that I can be better. That's fine. But for someone who feels as though they know everything and they are doing wrong things, and yet they, they are standing as I'm a role model, they are pretending to be who they are not. The fire of the Holy Ghost will consume them. Yeah. They will do because they will be giving room to the enemy. Imagine someone who is committing fornication. Someone who is doing the things they shouldn't be doing, and yet they are standing before the church, holding the mic, and trying to exalt other people, trying to encourage other people. When they themselves they are living a life of sin and they have not repented from it, they will be destroyed. I reject that over you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God has given us a provision. He said in this word, He said, if we humble ourselves, if my people who are called by my name, yes, you may have been called, you may have been given the grace to come to Jesus. God is saying there's provision for you if you sin. You gotta repent. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, shall turn from their wicked ways. Look at that. Turn. You gotta turn from your wicked ways. Humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways. The humility part requires you to be submissive. Submissive. Submissive, humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways. He said, Seek my face. Commitment to studying the word, commitment to growing in the word of God. Praise God. Commitment to studying the word, commitment to growing in the word of God, commitment to being practitioner of the word, practitioner, making the word of God, you know, living the word of God. You are living it. Oh, God says, flee from my parents of evil. You flee. Sometimes I hear some stories of some people, you know, you're doing, you are around, you know, you are in a place where there's temptation all around, and you are still there. You are not fleeing. You are disobedient to the word of God. God said flee, but you are still hanging in there. You are disobedient to the word of God. You are disobedient. Even when God taught us how to pray, when Jesus taught us how to pray, he said, our Father in heaven, I will be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. As it is in heaven, let it be done on earth. Praise God. Give us our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Now watch this. Lead us not into temptation. 
Do you get it? Lead us not into temptation. What is it that is sent to you? And yet you put yourself there. And this often happens among single men, single ladies who put, make themselves vulnerable. You're not married to this person and you are so, so close as if you're married and then you give room for seduction, seductive spirit. You give room to be to be enticed. Well, you're supposed to flee. That's why some, some ministries make it so uh, like a major standard that men should not visit, you know, singles by themselves. You know, like a man should not go visit a lady by herself in the name of your church members or whatever. Especially if they, they, they kind of like each other, they got to set boundary. As a role model, you got to be obedient to God's word. Flee. Separate yourself from something that can tempt you. Stop hanging around what can tempt you. Even Jesus prayed that prayer for us. Lead me not into temptation. Deliver me from evil. Thine is the kingdom, thy power, and thy glory forever and ever. Amen. Very, very important. Now, let me go back to what I was saying. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, turn from their wicked ways, praise God, seek my face. Seek my mind. Take my yoke upon them. Praise God. He said, and then pray. Communicate to me. Don't quench the spirit. Let the spirit of God be evident in you. Always. My wife and I and children, we were coming to church this morning. And while in the van, the church van, oh, come and feel the presence of God. Come and feel the presence of God. The presence of God is felt here. Thank God. Praise God. But on our way, we can feel the presence of God. At home, we can feel the presence of God. On our way, we can feel the presence of God. Tell me anywhere God's presence does not want to go. If you truly have a relationship. At your place of work, God's presence can be felt there. If you are mindful, if you know that it's there. If you do the right things, His presence will be there. Anywhere you go, He will go with you. But you, you gotta carry him along with you. Amen. Seek my face. And then the last one says, and pray. Pray. Prayer should be your lifestyle. Amen. Prayer should be your everyday thing. You can't be tired of praying. He said, God is said, I will hear from heaven. He said, I will hear you. I will forgive your sins. Because you're genuine. I will heal you. I will heal your land. Oh, I come against. Back, you know, back, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop attitude. I come against correction. You've been corrected for something over and over and over and over. You repent. You 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 start all over again. You you have a new resolution. You start all over again. You repent. The same. You are, you are you are going back to the same thing. Just imagine a baby going back to eating uh, baby milk. After five years, being five years old, and going back to be eating baby milk, you know, and then ten years old, going back to be sucking milk, sucking breast. How how strange is that? That's how some people act. That's how some people act. Praying that God will show mercy and that you will really desire to grow. In life, God has said everything to grow. God has designed everything to grow. Babies grow. Eaglets become eagles. Chicks become chickens. Amen. Baby snakes become big snakes. These are designed to grow. Your spiritual walk with God must grow. You are to, you are to grow. Hallelujah. Now watch this part now. The Great Commission, and this is why this is important to you. This is important to me. This is important to Jesus. We have to work as a team. We know that for us to expand. We gotta we, 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 we gotta hold on to God and, and, and be committed and make necessary sacrifice. We make necessary sacrifice. We could be home right now and wait until the main service at 11 o'clock. But what we're doing now is sacrifice. Sacrifice. 
you make necessary sacrifice. We started this at 10 o'clock. There have been times we've had to have service. 845, many to say we got to be in church way before that time. We got two, two services. I'm praying for the grace to sacrifice be released upon each and every one of us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Pastor Paul said, I beseech thee, brethren, by the message of God, that she present your bodies a living sacrifice. I believe Romans chapter 12, verse 1, that she present your bodies a living sacrifice, only acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It's only reasonable before God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. All right, let's go back to Matthew chapter 28. Let's do that quick. Let's do that quick. Matthew chapter 28, verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. You have been appointed here. God has raised you to be appointed here. You have to come up higher. Your appointment requires new instructions. That's why 2020 is not 2021. The nonchalant attitude that God's people had in 2020 must not follow them into 2021. We reject them in the name of Jesus. Every new year requires new level of commitment, new level of maturity to be saved. Everyone on this forum, you are to you are not to be missing important services, prayer meetings, Bible study. You are not to be missing them. You are not to be missing them. Hallelujah! I am praying for everyone that. Uh, Nobody will take your place. Amen. I am praying. Because with God, God uses those who are available. God uses those who, whose hearts are ready now. God uses those, those whose hearts are ready now, not later, now. The Bible says, God said in the book of Ezekiel somewhere that how he was trying to analyze that if someone has been righteous before God and stops being righteous, God says he will forget about that person. And then God also said in that Ezekiel that if someone has been a sinner for a long time and then repents, God says, I will forgive that person. And all of us here, I believe that we are saved. Let us not go back to the world. Let us not go back to the way of the world. Because what happens if we do that is we make ourselves vulnerable to greater attacks. Greater attacks. I reject that over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. How will never go back to the world? Declare that upon yourself. How will never go back to the world? How will never go back to the world? In the name of Jesus, I will never go back to the world. Amen. Now watch this. Let's go back to verse 16. Then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain. I hope they can see that as well. And then the 11 disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. You have been appointed to be part of the Lord and righteousness worship of the church. To Masia Apostle and Ministry. And for those who are participating you know you know for school purposes you have been appointed you know and that's why you you are here so that you can add to what you've learned so you could be better you could be a better leader you could be a better role model to the community that you are serving or you'll be serving all right the next verse then and when they saw him they worshiped him but some doubted. But some doubted. I am praying that as you begin to serve in a new dimension, 
God will elevate down us in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. You know, sometimes though, it may be, it may be, uh, it may be a fair saying to say that one may still have one or two people who may be in, be doubting, but the truth of the matter is, God will empower those who believe to be so strong. Now those who don't believe will begin to believe Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. God, because he said, and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name. There are some signs and wonders that must accompany every ministry for doubters to believe. I am praying that the signs and wonders that are yet to be seen in your life, in my life, in our ministries, that God shall begin to make the signs be obvious in Jesus' name. Amen. So that it will convince those who are doubtful. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You know, there are some people, you know, even if they see Jesus rise, some people might still doubt. I pray that none of us will be marked down for hell. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, I pray that none of us will be marked down for hell. Now, says, He who is often reproved, who had neck his head, his neck. Someone that you correct over and over again, and you correct them again and again and again. The Bible says they will soon perish to no remedy. That will not be your portion Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Be that man who grows, whose life, you know, gets brighter and brighter, brighter and brighter unto the perfect day. Be that man whose lifestyle continues to be better. Be that man, be that woman. You know, whom everybody speaks well of. You know, sometimes you have some people who don't speak good of someone because of envy, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. Be that man that stood, that stands as a man of God, a woman of God, and people can really see the grace of God upon their lives. People can see, even at home, they know that this, this man carries the grace of God. This woman carries the grace of God. I don't want you to be that woman or that man, you know, who, who you know, when people you know, the way they talk, people begin to judge them like, is this really uh, a servant of God? This person does not reflect what they profess to be. I reject that over you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I reject it over you. If you're a wife, if you're a mother, take care of for the wife, take care of your husband. For the wife, respect your husband. Submit yourself to your husband. Love your husband. That is required of the Lord. As, as a husband, Love your wife, respect your wife. Amen. As Christ loved the church and gave himself for the church, you know, love your wife. Praise God. Demonstrate those things. When nobody sees you, mothers, fathers, love your children. Guide them in the way of the Lord. Do the right thing. When nobody sees you, don't take advantage of them. Amen. Be lovers of God. Be committed to the things of God from your heart. Demonstrate it everywhere you go. In your office, in your business, amongst your friends, amongst your family members, when you are having gatherings, gatherings around, demonstrate that you are a child of God. You are a man of God, you are a woman of God. Demonstrate it. Stop pretending to be who you are not. Hallelujah. So when they saw him, they worshiped him, but some doubted. Verse 18. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Jesus is about to tell the people who have been appointed, Hey, look, I have all the power. Everyone at this conference right now, I want you to know that the power is here. Amen. Can you say the power is here? The power is here. here. Yes. I have all the power. The power has been released to us. This ministry is founded upon the word of God. Yeah, upon revelation. Upon this revelation, I will be you, my church. Flesh and blood did not reveal this to us. The Lord of righteousness was each other. But I have my father. And upon this rock, God is building his church. Amen. And the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Whatever you are assigned to do, don't worry, the power is released upon you. Amen. The power is released upon you. As long as you stay committed 
those who are committed, those who are connected, they get filled. It is those who disconnect that they feel left out. Those who disconnect that they feel dried up. Leaves don't just dry up. In the summer, they don't just dry up. It is those who, who you know, who allows the wind to blow them away. Distractions. That's why they dry out. When a branch is connected to the vine, the branch does not, you know, does not dry up. You see dry branches when they are disconnected from the vine. That's when they dry out. Okay. You know, that's why I keep saying that word in Proverbs 4, 18, that we have to shine better and better, brighter and brighter, greater and greater, from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from greater power to another higher power. Praise we, we got to be better. Amen. If I ask you now to, to share a word of faith with me, I expect your, your scriptural references to be more than before. I expect your the memory verses in your in your in your spirit to be more than before. I expect you to be able to teach me to be more uh, more precise and more effective than before. I expect that from you. I expect that from you. We all want more blessing, more money, more more this, more that. But what what about the word of God? What about the word of God? We want this, more salary, more houses, more this, more that. What about you growing inside out? What about you growing? What about you stopping to, 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 to uh, abuse people around you? What about you stopping to talk less of people or talk rude to people? You know, some siblings can be rude to you. Or, you know, they are siblings. Do you know that? Do you know that some people in their homes, they just talk anyhow. It's wrong. If you are a role model, you gotta those things gotta change. Because you now operate by the tenets of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. You operate in a different kingdom. This must be done differently. Hallelujah. Amen. Now watch this. He said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. Teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. All nations. To be able to do that, we need each other. We need one another. Amen. One saved one. The one that is saved saves others. Others that have been saved, they save others. They are committed to the same values of the kingdom. Amen. Teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you and lo, I am with you always even unto the end of, excuse me, of the world. Amen. You see, that's a lifelong commitment. Even Jesus said, I am with you always unto the end of the world unto the end of the world hallelujah as i wrap up this fire conference because of our time let's take a look at luke chapter 10 i'm going to give you an assignment you are going to study the book of luke chapter 10. you're going to give me a summary of what ministered to you in luke chapter 10 and then you're going to mention also some of the things that I've shared with you today that I've ministered to you. Okay, Part of what I intended to share with us was to emphasize also the benefits of serving God. You can find some of them in Luke chapter 10. So I want you to use that as an assignment. Luke chapter 10, coupled with what I've taught us this morning, and then give me a summary you know, send that to my email, lorwc at yahoo.com. Okay, that's lorwc at yahoo.com. It is well. Let's bow our heads and pray because of our time. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to study your word once again. Thank you, Lord, for empowering us to fellowship. Thank you for this fire conference. Thank you for stepping up your people to be better role models 
in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for equipping your people to be better role models. In the name of Jesus, and thank you, Lord, for empowering them. I pray for fresh power upon them, fresh anointing, fresh grace upon them, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your holy name. Glory to your name. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Because of our time, I'll see you uh, next Sunday. And those who have attended, you are not to miss church service. This is for role models. Praise God. This is for role models. You are not to miss church service. You know, and those who have been absent in person in church, please adjust your schedule and be present. Don't get used to just watching online. Some of you are beginning to get used to that. As much as we have incorporated technology, there's also the place of physical you know, attendance, especially if you are a role model. God bless you.